Good morning, good morning on this Monday, January 29th, 8.30 in the morning. Oh, it's chilly, got my jacket. I'm Trooper Steve, your new six traffic safety expert. We're live inside of Results One right now, headed to our destination. This is, let me be very clear about something. This is not a Stanley. I will not own one of those stupid things. Uh, this right here is uh, a gift from UCF Victim Services over at the University of Central Florida. It's bigger, it's better, and it was free. So, just to clear that up, I don't need anybody to be like, oh, Steve's got a Stanley. No, Steve does not have a Stanley. I'm not going to afford that one. I could, no, never mind. I don't need them hitting me with a defamation suit. Anyways, uh, we are today... I take a lot of the questions that you guys send in to me, and between myself, my executive producer Tara for Trooper Steve on Patrol, and we compile this stuff and we try to figure out what exactly it is you guys are asking, or what is the specific question. And if it's a very general one, then we try to turn it from an Ask Trooper Steve to a Trooper Steve on Patrol so that we can actually go out and visit uh, the locations. So I'm slowly making my way out to the express lanes right now along I-4 for some signage questions that were towards or directed towards the downtown Orlando. So benefits of having a live stream with nothing pressing afterwards. We could take some time getting there. So it's taking me a few. It's Monday. Traffic is back to normal. We're just making our way back out uh, towards I-4. So right now I'm southbound along John Young Parkway, kind of... Uh, Still in the city of Orlando, just north of the city limits here. And we're going to hop on I-4, head east, get off at Millennium, then re-enter back in so we can slide into an express lane entrance and uh, head towards... My goal is to head towards the South Street area. I do believe that it's possible that the signage was in the South Street area. So a viewer sent in saying, hey, traveling in the express lanes... I saw a no turn on red sign. I don't know where that's at. And I, I, I want to be honest. I don't know. So part of being a stream, live, interactive with you guys is figuring it out as we go and then talking about it. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I figured why not? We have the capabilities of the truck simply to just drive. So that's what we're going to do. This is just scared. That waste management truck right there just scared the crap out of me. I heard the engine rev. <laughs> I thought I was about to get hit by something. Um, so we're uh, headed south. So as we're headed there, we can chat a little bit. Oh, I am so glad they put this wall up over here. John Young, I-4, as you're headed south here approaching I-4. You guys remember this. So if you look to the right side of your screen... All this was a, an open travel lane where cars can just slide over. You can't do it anymore. Can't uh, exit here to I-4 anymore. Can't cross over traffic. Can't slide over and block it up because they put a positive median concrete barrier separating the travel lanes. I tell you, I could not be happier. Obviously, some of these vehicles probably not the not too excited about it, but it does make it a lot easier for southbound John Young Parkway, because then you don't have vehicles sliding over. Like normally, I'm not saying he would do it, but the box truck that you see there could slide over and slow things down as they sit in that travel lane, and now that is not possible anymore. So excited about that. Really good, but it does mess up you getting on to John Young just a little bit. So... We are going to hop on I-4, cruise a little bit so we can get to where we're going, and uh, see what else we see. So let's hop on. Nice green light, so we're just going to go. Beagle on the shoulder, give him some space. Even if you don't see the hazard lights, guys, I always recommend you see a vehicle on the shoulder, give them some space. You never know what's going on. They may have forgotten to turn on their warning lights. They may have uh, simply, 
they could be in the front of their vehicle working on something. Just good muscle memory to have while you're driving. So we're going to head east. We're going to jump off at Conroy and then turn quickly back around so that we can get a gist of maybe where these signs are. I've never seen a no turn on red sign in the express lanes because there's no traffic signals. Um, so we're going to catch up with traffic here. I'm going a little slow. Sorry. And that guy's cruising. Nissan Altimas. My cops out there will understand. I swear they're the fastest cars on the road. <sighs> Hope you guys had a really good weekend. So what did I do? I went to the beach Saturday. That was good. And then Friday got to host the Carrie Ann DeMont 8th Annual Dinner Banquet, raise some funds for the foundation. It was a really good time, awarded some really good recognitions to people throughout Central Florida. Uh, also another charity, so it's not all just about them. They do recognize uh, other local charities that are doing great things, and they recognize Team South Florida from South Florida. Uh, they have a chapter here, which I have recently become a part of, but one of their members, Joyce, was awarded with a $500 award because of the things that she's been doing. And she can use those funds for training, whatnot, and things like that. My truck is dirty. We're going to wash this thing. And what else? We recognized some local leaders. It was the first time the colonel from the Florida Highway Patrol was present, uh, which was really cool. Like, uh, got to actually have a good conversation with the new colonel who was my other boss and uh, really take a deep dive into what I do here tired yes very tired so we're here over by Mall of Millennia it is gorgeous but it is cold outside I tell you what just waiting here we're gonna turn around I love the delay of people at lights because that lets me know they're on their phone. We're going to get behind the Road Ranger here. Incident Road Ranger response. Thank you to all our Road Rangers. If you didn't know, they are uh, a, they have a mechanic level uh, certification. They are operated and respond with the Florida Highway Patrol through their comm center. And they are a free assistant service, but they also are incident response out here. Really amazing for what they do. If you happen to ever be broke down, the Road Rangers, when available, will help you in any way that they can. And they're just really, really great people wanting to come out and help. Uh, they're a great service between the state and of course AAA and State Farm as a sponsor which allows them to be free for everybody, which is really cool. They'll come out, change a tire, something that they uh, can help with with your engine. They'll really, really get up there and assist. I'm gonna get in the left lane because our intention is to slide right on into the express lanes here in just a second. And we'll get into the express lanes and we'll uh, head towards downtown so we can find out where this no turn on red sign is. I don't think one exists, but hey, we're gonna go find out together a little bit. Sun's in our face, let's slide over into the left lane here. And we'll enter I-4 East Bend Express from John Young Parkway. From John Young Parkway, we're gonna be getting into the express lanes here. Just looking at some of the signs that are within the express. So we have an express entrance. We have an indicator there that was on the left, letting us know that this lane does end. And we're gonna slide in. I'm doing 64 miles per hour. Gonna set this cruise control. And you can still, they just fly through here. But it's all right, we're not here doing speed today. We're doing signage in the express lanes. What kind of signs do we see? And you need to be aware, because I was even having that talk with Bridget Ellison this morning, morning anchor Bridget Ellison and I talked about how she has tried to use them, but it just doesn't work out for her. The goal here is to understand the sign stuff up top. And although my, Responser was not meant to be like rude or anything, but depending where you live, the express lanes might not be for you. For example, 
I live in a really good sweet spot to where it's all I use. But then there are some locations that, hey, if I lived a little closer to work, I wouldn't even touch them because then there would be better routes for me. So it's all learning about what is specific to you and what helps your commute. They put them here, doesn't mean you have to use them. So they haven't changed the pricing at all. It's still 50 cents per spot. Uh, so you do have an exit here that takes you out towards the 408 and Cayley and Michigan area. And if you wanted to get to Lee Road, you would exit here. If you wanted to bypass that, then you would stay in. If you Our next closest exit though is gonna be South Street. And that is gonna be where we're gonna exit here. This little car flying. And then they're the first one that's like, oh, why am I getting pulled over? Well, you're doing 20 over the posted speed limit, buddy. It makes no sense. Don't, don't want to do the time, don't do the crime. You know what I mean, traffic infraction. We're going to wait for these other two cars to get past us. And then we're going to go, look at that guy, on his phone holding it. I hate that. Like, there's no purpose in holding and holding it. And I'm texting and driving. Gotta love it. Little honk. I can't stand it. Alright, we're gonna get off here and exit out South Street to see maybe is it in the eastbound area. We're gonna check it out. So we're here in the left lane. Some may be like, Steve, why are you in the left lane? You're cruising in the left lane, Steve. You're not supposed to be there. My exit is less than a half mile from here. I am in pre preparing to exit the highway in the left lane. So I'm okay, It's a, you are allowed to be here. We don't want you darting across multiple lanes of traffic at the last minute. Another good reason to use Express, look to the far right of your screen right now. Grid lock downtown, well, it's not grid lock. It's moving, but it's slow. This is why I use it. 50 cents, I get to bypass this. I'll make my lunch that day. All right, so real quick, we're gonna exit here to South Street and uh, monitor to see what this looks like. So we're taking the exit, left exit here to South Street. As we exit here in the downtown here, I wanna slow my speed down, right? We wanna see what it looks like. This is my first time seeing it with you, so I wanna look very carefully. I'm taking my sunglasses off here. Straight Garland Avenue, to the left, south to Amway, to the right, southeast, uh, east is South Street. Okay, I'm looking for signs, I'm looking for signs. I see it, straight ahead, no turn. That is the right turn signal, no turn on red. Meaning, that car making the red right there, violation. Okay, this means no turn on red anywhere. They're staying, good. But that center one up front, you can barely see it. There's a, so you have a sign here to the right where the white truck is. It says, no turn on red. Up ahead, there's a sign that says, right turn signal. Okay, so that specific sign, right turn signal, is for the people wanting to make a right turn. But if it is red because of the other sign, you are not allowed to make that right turn. Does that make sense? This is crystal clear. Now, it just turned to green. They can make their right. Without stopping, without yielding. This guy's still slowing. Still slowing. I almost want to tell him, you have a green signal. So they've got, you've got to pay attention to the signs. We're actually going to change here and we're going to go right. See how that sign up ahead, it says green. We can make our right here. We're allowed to. That was really clear there, guys. But it's because of how people are looking at it. It's really messing you guys up. That was that was real clear. I never seen those before. That was fun. Only a traffic guy would say, that was fun. So you can see when you exit here, there is no eastbound through traffic, at least not yet on South Street. There's only a westbound through. The other traffic that's coming on the south that can go east is coming off of I-4. But certain signs override each other. So 
if you've got a sign there that says no turn on red, okay, throw that one up in the air. That is your your cloud that we're operating. That's the platform that we're up. I hear sirens, not sure where they're coming from. That's the siren. Uh, <laughs> that's the, the world we're living in, in an area where no turn on red. Up ahead, the turn signal is, has its own independent light. So if that's red, then there's no right on red. If that's green, then you can make a right when that one is green. Makes sense, right? You've got, you have to be situationally aware. There's no question if, ands, or buts. Let's finish checking this out. We're gonna, my goal is to get turned around here in a second so we can go the other way. But downtown Orlando, oof, fun, sarcastic. So here, right turn only. Stop here on red. I'm looking for other signs. Right at red only. I've got a stop here on red, so I need to stop right here. One way turning vehicles. All right. I look up at the street lights. There's a digital no turn on red active. So when that's up, I can't make a right on red. But because it's digital, it means it's temporary. Okay. So I'm waiting here. I can make my right on red now. No one's coming. I'm going. because the sign went away. All right, we're gonna get turned back around. So you can see how it could be confusing when you're not paying attention. I came into this trying to be super cool and calm today, but if you're paying attention, it's as clear as the sun is out today, seriously but you have to be paying attention. How many times am I gonna say that? Pay attention, right? It is insane that this is the, like, the stuff we're dealing with. All right, so we're gonna come up here. I wanna head the opposite direction. We're gonna come up to Rosalind here from downtown and approach it the other way. But I want you to go back in this live and watch this because it was uh, pretty interesting to watch how that actually, there's a lot of signage there and I understand that, but when you're exiting a major highway into a, a, a multi-lane local street, this should not be out. You should have everything put away and you should be clear about what is exactly out in front of you because the signs are there to tell you. Here, if I'm paying attention, I'm at Rosalind one way left, no right turn. So if some weirdo decided to make a right turn, there'd be, there'd be a problem, right? Those sirens are still echoing off the buildings and I get nervous that they're gonna come flying up behind us. Um, so we're gonna go approach south the opposite direction just so we can see it and we'll wrap this up. But for the question, the, what was asked was, hey, listen, there is a no turn on red sign posted in the express lane exit. Yes, there is. Um, but there's also a sign indicating that there is a dedicated traffic signal for the right turn. So that as long as that isn't red, then you're golden. All right, so we're gonna head west on south from Rosalind just to approach it from a different angle. Maybe we see different signs, but this it was pretty clear once we got there and I really appreciate those type of questions because it makes me get to learn a few new things too which uh, I'm all about is coming to see what uh, certain roadways certain roadways actually look like and stuff like that so that was pretty cool learn something new and then now I could talk about it next time someone asks me about it Gotta stay hydrated, y'all. Alright. Let's head west on south. If they move out of my way. Thank you. We're gonna move to the 
center lane. And now we're here south of Magnolia facing westbound. We're going to approach I-4 here in a second just to take a look. We're not going to get onto I-4, but we were on I-4 at the beginning of this stream, which I encourage you to go back and watch because the question was presented, why are there no right turn on red signs posted on the express when exiting? That was the complete question, and the only area I knew that that could be was here in the downtown Orlando area, and we found it. We found it exactly. So if you are traveling in the eastbound direction of I-4 and exiting in the downtown Orlando area, you'll come up on the South Street left exit. When you do exit there, you have to pay super close attention because there is a, a traffic signal for the right turn, but there's also another signal that overrides that. It indicates no turn on red. So you wouldn't be allowed to do that. Also food for thought here, I wish I could graphic this and show you. So in the state of Florida, if you're on a one way going to a one way, you are allowed to make a left hand turn. Yes, yes, you are. As long as there's a sign posting that it doesn't limit that, then you are allowed to do that. Got OPD off to my left. In downtown, train train got us, so we're we're stuck here in some traffic for a moment. Just hanging out, but hey, it's the traffic signal. Gotta gotta get them moving. Now, if one of these cars in the left lane scoots over, I'm going to be ticked. And you're going to get to watch it live. Now, if the OPD car does it, problem. But they're not. They're all making the left lane there on Boone, which they're supposed to be, which is very nice. But you guys know what I'm talking about. It. You'll see it. You'll be out here. And the next thing you know, people are in the lane that they don't want to be in because they're in, they want to be in your lane and they're fighting to push over. I can't stand that. But railroad track is down there at Boone and South at Garland, so we're just waiting for them to clear that out for us so we can safely cross the tracks. All right, here we go. Once we clear this, we'll wrap this up, but I do encourage you to go back and watch just because I did find exactly what the question was asking, which was really cool. I like when we can do that. What's crazy is how people just walk out in the middle of the road. Like they like they have a force field around them or something. Insane. All right, we're gonna slide over the right lane. We're here on South Street underneath I-4. Eastbound does not, westbound does not have it. That is exactly what I wanted to see. And we just saw it. Look at that. We're geniuses, y'all. We are you, you watching this right now, people asking the question, y'all are geniuses. Y'all are sending me to the right spots to get the right results to answer the right questions. And I really love you guys for that. So we're gonna find a spot and just talk real quick because I felt, man, you guys get me excited. And it's little, it's little stuff that someone would not think is cool. I think it's cool because we're just getting results all the time. And that's what we're into here. All right, let's pull off into a little spot so I could chat with you just for a second. We'll make a left here down central. Maybe go towards the soccer field or Exploria Stadium or wherever, whatever it's called. All right. I want to find a legal place to pull over. So none of y'all troll me later, but there's a Vamos Orlando, it says.
Look at that, another digital sign. No turn on red, even on a local street here. Why? I have a blind spot off to my right here. So there's a digital indicator here that says no turn on red during certain moments because a pedestrian could be crossing. That's why the digital stuff happens. It is, it's to intentionally force the right of way for someone else so that you don't go flying. And unfortunately down that street, there is a lot, a lot of pedestrians walking around at this time. All right, we're gonna pull over real quick here. Actually, this is probably not the safest place to pull over, so I'm gonna move on just a little bit. Over here, just so we could chat briefly of what we actually witnessed out there. Because I really, I like when they end up the open-ended questions end up being something of like really good substance. Watch out for pedestrians; they got to get over fifty percent. We're gonna pull into this parking lot real quick so we can talk. Nothing but squirrels back here. That's the way I like it. All right. So what did we talk about? The question was presented about express lane and South Street, or express lanes and no turn on red. Now, I knew right away that there is a very small areas of where a sign like that could be posted, and immediately I thought eastbound South Street. So glad we together explore so many portions of Central Florida that I was right. So when I we got finally got out there, if you're headed on I-4 and you're in the express lanes, your South Street exit is on your left-hand side. So you're going to get in that left lane you're going to come down the ramp. Obviously, slow your speed. But you also need to pay very close attention because there you're allowed to head east or west on South Street. If you are heading to make a right, there's two things you need to pay attention to. One, a clear sign on your right-hand side that says no turn on red. And then in front of you, there's another sign there that says right turn signal. That that is the, that traffic signal that's posted there is specifically for the right turn. So when you put those two together, what does it mean? If that light's red, you don't make a right. If that light's not on or not telling you to do something, as long as you make your complete stop, you can make the right. This is, I'm sure this will change at some point because the eastbound lanes underneath the I-4 on South Street are still under construction. Westbound's open. So how do we fix this? How do we make sure we pay attention? You gotta make sure you're focused on the little things. Look for the, the, the bigger value sign that controls everything, the no right on red. There's nothing there that supersedes that. Nothing. No right on red is concrete if that's there especially if it's in a permanent sign now if it's in a digital it's designed to slow you at certain times so that other traffic that you may not see but guess what you don't have to are going and it gives them the space so good questions keep them coming love you guys hope you had a really good weekend it's going to be chilly the next few days some rain over the weekend meteorologist candace campos always giving it to you and uh, I'll catch you guys on the other side. Drive safe today. Have an amazing, amazing day. And as always, wear your seatbelt.